right, so I'm the guy. We've got uh, got our front end sort of on there, although I want to make sure that this uh, radiator is, oh, by the way, um, just an introduction. This is Mike's car. We've been working on it for a while. It's a steel-bodied uh, Ford sedan. Um, it's got a Spirit chassis under it. We built the chassis, and uh, he convinced me we needed to uh, restore the car or do everything. It was pretty nice bar and fine, but when you get into them, they need a lot of work, so we put a we put a van roof in it. Got a lot done to it so far. So now we're putting the finishing touches on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hood, turn it into a one piece hood, hinge it so that it hinges, so you can open it either direction with the hinges. Uh, dinner, we had dinner. And uh, working on that, I put some backbone braces in there. And now I need to figure out how to get my front with a nice line, super clean, so that when it goes on that grill shell, it looks like it belongs on that grill shell. So I came up with the idea of rolling, not rolling the front edge, but actually go ahead and make, I took a quarter inch rod and I bent it to shape. So I spent a little bit of time on it. I mean, this is about all I've done today, but uh, I'm the guy. I don't have enough people here and I can't turn somebody else loose on it. I've tried that. It didn't work. So I got this in the face and I pretty much like the line. I work it better. So if I work a little bit on it every day, I don't even have an hour in getting that ready. A little bit every day, it'll add up. So I'm going to have to do this. It'd be nice if I could just don't talk to me. I'm, I'm fabricating and building this, um, but that can't happen. I can't spend an eight hour day. So what I'm gonna do, take this, I'm gonna set that hood up along here and I'll mark where this is. And I'm gonna cut the hood. And I'm gonna weld this into the hood. You can kind of see, I've got, I've got a shape here that I want for the hood. I can close that gap. This has been welded up. This has had rust here. It missing pieces that just I mean that's what I had to work with on the on the hood so it's just tough to get them so here's what I've got I'm going to go ahead and put the the hood up there line up the hood best I, I can get it and I need to make sure that this is centered the grill shell is not crooked in there I mean you can kind of look at it, it looks to me like it's leaning a little bit to the left so I'll get that all straightened up uh, make sure I get my side panels on uh, I got everything looking good before I start doing the welding here. I still want to put a bigger um, backbone brace in the in the back of this hood. Uh, that way I can um, make sure that the lines along the, the edge here fit good. And it, when you shut the hood down, it's like a solid hood. I may do the quarter inch rod thing behind it too. So it's getting there. I'm the guy. So I'm the guy for a lot of things. I'm now the guy that uh, supposed to do follow-up with the customers and all that so if, if I'm not getting your calls returned uh, Mike I need to follow up on you uh, it's just there's a lot a lot going on and I've got just a couple people and I'm not gonna put warm bodies on we really need we really need to have skilled people and I can't put multiple people on that, that watch a YouTube video or think they want to do it and went to school and got a diploma that says they can do it but they didn't learn from anybody that even knew how to do it can't do that working with uh working with educators that want to work with us that's my new approach to it um education has been in its own home bubble in its own world for 30 years so i'm uh i'm kind of a, a disciple of mike rowe now uh, the dirty jobs guy let's just let's just get it done Sometimes you just got to blow sweat in there. You just got to do it. You got to have a good work ethic. You got to learn. You got to just, uh, you know, you got you to do it. And, I, and I'll, I'll just be honest. I pointed at a couple people to try to get this done, do this, do that. But they didn't have the skills. Uh, even this one. I've been working on it. Over the weekend, I was like, oh, well, wait, what if I do it this way? So even if, though I've got 40 or almost 50 years of experience doing this, you know, you, you, it's good to have done it before and failed or succeeded. 
you know, then you, you can always uh, build on your successes and your failures. But we're not going to fail here. I'm not uh, very accustomed to failing at the end. We might have some setbacks in the project, but the least we can uh, take two steps back to go one forward, the better in the, the job. So we've taken a few back on my dime, so at least I can't charge for what we didn't do and then undo it and make it right. So it's getting there.